Hello again, this is Findus, and today I'm going to talk about irrigation. Uh, this is not the fort I was playing in before, and that's because uh, I wanted to show you how to irrigate, and to do that I need to have a fort that has loads of uh, non-soil areas. <coughs> As you can see, the red here is clay loam, which is uh, normal soil. <coughs> but that allowed me to use uh, to build the farm plot here. However, if I were to build a farm plot on, let's say, this area here, uh, B and then P, and then I got farm plot. As you can see here, it says in the red there needs soil or mud. Uh, so if I were to build a farm plot here, I think I could, but it wouldn't work. Uh, this small area here is soil, so as soon as I move into it, as you can see, it gets green. And uh, only this small part here will actually be usable. Now, uh, if you embark in an area that has uh, some soil in it, like this, or, well, any soil at all, and you build your fort pretty close to it, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, to get underground farm plots like this. If you can't get underground farm plots for some reason, um, uh, another way to get uh, food would be to uh, gather plants and then you could build a farm plot up here instead, uh, above ground. And in that you could probably build uh, I mean, grow prickleberries or uh, something like that that dwarves could eat because prickleberries and uh, foods like that from gro above ground are very common. However, uh, the problem with having above ground farm plots is that they are much harder to defend. You have to build a wall around them, and, and even if you have built a wall around them, uh, flying monsters and uh, attackers could reach your dwarves inside them. Also, some dwarves don't like sunlight, which means that if they would get up and uh, start working on the farm plots every day, they will get unhappy because of it. And also, I think all plants except sunberries are uh, taste less good compared to the underground soils uh, for the dwarves, which means you want underground soils, um, uh, underground farm plots almost all the time except for when you got loads of food and many dwarves you could probably build one up here to g just get some variation in the food and the drinks uh, however uh, if you only got like I said before if you only got rock soil uh, rock areas here and no soil you need to muddy the water and if you want to do that that quickly uh, as soon as you embark you should uh, find out where the murky pools are like this um, even though there's m stagnant water in it it won't matter because the dwarves uh, won't won't care um, when you then when you got the murky pool you need to dig out an arrow right next to it like this and then you need to actually dig right into the pool so, so that the water will flood in here and uh, this water here probably won't reach all the way out here but I can build a door just to be, be safe well I can't I had no doors but it probably won't get out there even if, even if it would it wouldn't be much water and when we the water has gone out here the, the, the rock layer under here will get mudded and on that mud you can then build a farm plot um, <coughs> the problem with this solution is though that this little area here uh, will get uh, vulnerable to attack since it's an opening here let's see now how much water it is here not much as you can see a dusting of mud uh, which means there is mud on the floor here and you can build a farm plot 
I think the mud will go away over time though, so you want a more permanent solution to the problem. Uh, you need to build a, f a, a, a irrigation system close to a river or a brook or a stream. And as you can see here, the water is starting to run out. There, there isn't enough water to flood the whole area. And the water in here will, ev will evaporate, which means you can only do this about once. Maybe two or three times, depending on... Uh, if the water, r uh, if, it, if there is a very much rain in the area and very little uh, evaporation, but that's very unlikely. Uh, I'm gonna wait for this water to run out, and and to get a more permanent solution to the problem, like I said, you have to build an area like this, right next to the river or brook. Uh, a normal river would, would of course look like a river, but this is the the actual starting point of the of the river, which looks like this. Uh, and from the the starting point, there will be an infinite amount of water, which means I have to build a floodgate and connect it to a lever, uh, which I have done up here, I think. Which means I can turn off the water as soon as I want. And of course, I've dug out an area here, which will be, which will would be flooded by the water, and mudded. And as soon as the water has evaporated, or at least I think it has to be less than three, or maybe only one, for it to be uh, plot uh, farm plottable. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna pause and then continue when the water has evaporated, just to show you. Uh, that you can actually build a farm plot on this dusted mud, uh, this, this muddy floor, and the floodgate, uh, which which I built here. Uh, you can't see it now, only when you uh, press K and it's over it, as it has been activated when it's uh, connected to the uh, lever, which means that it has gone down into the floor and water can now flow through. Um, and then I will dig here so that, that the water can, or mine, so that the water can come in here. Uh, later on, when you got the amount of water you want, you can build a, a wall here to protect yourself from the from attackers. And then when you want the, the mud, more mud here again, you can of course pull down the wall, open the floodgate. Uh, when it's mudded here again, close the floodgate, build a wall, just to be on the safe side. Just to increase the time, uh, decrease the time, uh, have to spend for the water to evaporate. I dug out here so that the water can run out in the side here, which means that it very quickly will be just. Uh, one out of seven here, and one out of seven water will evaporate much quicker than two or three out of seven. Uh, also, the water down here uh, has filled enough in the area, I think about here, uh, for me to close the floodgate, which means I can also soon have a farm plot there. Uh, another way to get mudded area is to actually dig down all the way out to down to the underground caverns but uh, be because all the underground caverns have mud on them and also many of them have water if the water up here is frozen for example however that's that's very hard uh, to defend also since there are loads of much often much tougher monsters down those caverns and as you can see now uh, I can build a farm plot here some of the areas here still have water in them, uh, which blocks me from building uh, farm plot. But uh, as time has gone, the, the water will evaporate, and it's the same for the area down here. Uh, I strongly recommend to uh, embark on a zone that has soil of some kind instead of embarking on mountains and glaciers, because this is a hard problem.